Hello everyone, welcome to Lance Fantasy Gaming. Uh, Wednesdays are updates and projects and sometimes I read comments and uh, talk to you guys about other things as well. Uh, so the 15th of April, there will be pre-orders for Dante and the Primark Lion and some other stuff as well. So I'm probably going to end up um, pre-ordering Dante due to the fact that I have a Blood Angel army. Uh, that I do want to work on. I didn't. I've been holding off buying a lot of stuff for the Blood Angels or printing stuff for the Blood Angels because I am going to be buying a lot of tenth edition Blood Angels that are coming out for it as well. And I'll have my own sets of Tyranids with it in that box set. So uh, the Tyranid that I am painting are my friends. So mine will be like the original looking one that's on the box for it. So it'll be a lot more vibrant and detailed and. A lot like that as well well if you guys haven't please do subscribe like and share it does support the channel uh check out our patreon discord as well and um let's get to the update so the tear nets are almost done i'm almost done with painting all of my friends tear nets. there's like five or six groups of tear nets left and usually knocked it down within a day or two a piece uh because now i finished the big ass swarm of the tyranids and the homer i mean the homer gaunts and uh freaking and, and the tur turgons and homer gaunts i really i finished all that i finished the gene stealers uh i'm doing the prime the warrior prime and the tyranid prime and tyranid warrior and i have a couple other more to do and i got build a custom um uh air base for a couple of the units for it. I bought a 1 8 uh, acrylic rod because I do have a couple flying uh, mounts for my units that I 3D print. And I do not want to buy clear resin uh, due to that fact. So we got 1 8 uh, acrylic rod. Very flexible, very good. It hurts to be whack someone with it. So we'll cut pieces of it, drilling holes through the model and the base and just gluing it up. And this will probably do a lot more better job. And it came with like, a, I think rods of 20 for like six to eight, seven bucks. I'm surprised that they stopped selling these at hobby stores. You can't really find acrylic rods uh, uh, readily available anymore. Now it's those wooden dowels and, you know, I'd rather have clear so they can look through it. So that's going to be it. So when the Tyranids are all done, we are going to be working on the Nurgles. And some of the Warforge. I'll probably go live stream the Warforge this Friday of me assembling it. I am going to clean that up area right in this corner on my table. Get everything on bases and sand it down so I can work unison on which one I need to work on as we go so we have space chaos um have the corn uh the world eater army the blood angels then nurgle uh the problem with nurgle is i could print majority of the stuff but the units that do matter that i really need like the death guard and death guard space marines and a couple of the unclean ones uh the one that does spell casting i do need those for my units and but the rest i could 3d print I might have to get the Primark. There's like different variation that people have made, but I do not like how it looks uh, on a lot of these models. So I'm probably gonna get the one from Games Workshop, even though it's quite expensive. I'm trying to find used ones that look, that people are trying to like let go of. If you have a unit of Warhammer that you want to let go and, you know, send it to me or I buy it off from you for, uh, for a reasonable price, I would love to buy them or get take it off from you and paint it and put it on the video uh, for that. But right now, everyone is upping the price and trying to sell a lot of their 9th edition uh, stuff because the 10th edition is just around the corner for it. Uh, the rules look very simplistic, but also difficult. So it's going to be a few times before we get I get a hand, uh, hang of it and I learn the rules and play it. And... Uh, we're probably trying to limit between 500 points to a thousand points. I would like to get two to 5,000 points per faction units. Uh, but the problem is, is I probably will never play majority of them, but I'd like to have them for the video, uh, for that as well. 
Then after I dealt with the Tyranids as well, we are going to do D&D &D and Nurgle because by that time I should, I should have the uh, Army Painter Speed Paint 2.0. Will make my job a lot easier uh, with chop shop method with the painting. Uh, it, it it looks wonders. It does look so much better. Uh, tell you the truth, uh, the, all the tiernits are chop shop methods. Uh, reason why is I only have two speed paints that I'm borrowing from a friend to test it out, and I do really enjoy it. So I have regular colors to dry brush and put detail in and put over layers. Of water down speed paint and giving you that highly looking detail and finish for it. I am not the type of person that will actually spend 40 hours 40 hours on a model. Uh, it is not uh, reasonable to make a video for because I do at least paint 8 to 12 hours a day most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time I do. Uh, and try to edit and put videos up stl videos 3d printing and all that stuff as well so the speed paint will cut down a lot of the the time of me painting and just working on editing because every time you put, put a layer of speed painting away two hours for the fully cure uh for that reason as well and i have a lot of gray minis uh due to that problem so after i'm done printing all the nurgle stuff i'm not printing anything for a while until I get majority of stuff done as well. I do want to do D D storytelling. Uh, I do want to do some other content as well for this channel. But so far, Tyranids, Nurgles, 10th edition. Uh, when the new books for 5th edition comes out, I will probably do a review for it. But other than that, you know, it is one of those things that I need to kind of uh, get ready for. Uh, because... My birthday is going to be just around the corner next month, and I ask everyone I want Warhammer, so I'll probably have a handful of Warhammer coming in that I'm going to have to paint uh, for future videos uh, for that. Right now, everything is scheduled except for STLs and update videos. That's Tuesdays and through Thursday. Those three days, I usually make a day before of it and, and put out, see what's going on, what's out right now. But a lot of the painting videos are scheduled all the way through mid of May. So pretty soon you will not see Tyranid painting, normal speed paints and normal paints till like end of April. And it's going to probably cover all of May. Then June and July you'll see Nurgle and probably some of the 10th edition and Blood Angel paintings uh, for it. Uh, but I'm trying to get a lot of factions done. But I think... I've been probably printing more things than I should because I'm printing multiple factions. I'm just going to stop completely with that because resin is quite expensive, especially if I, even though I bought the cheapest Sunlu resin for $18 a liter, uh, it, it is still, you know, costly towards the, um, when you add it all up. But I do save a lot of money in, in, from uh, buying it from Games Workshop. I just wish that Games Workshop stop, um, would uh, stop flagging down uh, creators for them making, you know, their version of 3D arts and proxies for Warhammer. I think that was kind of dumb. So we have a lot. We have a lot of these. And um, I got to buy a lot of paint uh, because I am actually meeting the goal of using all the older paints that I have. I threw a lot of them in the trash because they were empty. And I'm probably going to need a lot more brown, greens, and uh, reds. And I'm running out of reds and browns and greens as we speak right now. And I want to buy some more technical paints. I want to buy some more terrain like sand and uh, static grass and stuff. I never use static grass. I want to try using static grass. I want to use a lot more stuff. And uh, it's going to take time because it, everything just adds up very fast. And try to get stuff done as smoothly as possible. So... This is what I got. If you guys want me to add more stuff to the project, please let me know down in the comments. Anything you want me to improve the channel, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, this is all I have for you guys for this week. I'll see you guys next week. Um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. And check out our Patreon Discord. I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.